right, this skill we're going to demonstrate the patient assessment and management of a trauma patient. Uh, so, as always, we're always going to make sure we have our BSI precautions, make sure our scene is safe. Uh, we're now going to do a further uh, scene size up and scene assessment by doing our pin man. So, make sure I'm safe, my partner's safe, and any bystanders are safe. I'm also going to go ahead and check my environment to make sure there's no environmental dangers. I'm going to see uh, if there, how many patients there are. I'm going to see what the mechanism of injury is or the nature of illness. So for the purpose of this uh, scenario or this demonstration, we're going to say it could be a possible fall, possible motor vehicle collision, anything like that that I'm going to get dispatched out to. Uh, now, after that, I'm going to see if I need any additional resources. So in trauma situations, a lot of times uh, we might need additional resources. Uh, so at this point, I haven't uh, established a need quite yet. Uh, I also want to see by my uh, general impression uh, if there's a need for extrication or a need for C-spine. So in this case, uh, we're not going to need to extricate the patient. However, I do want to go ahead and make spinal precautions just because we're not sure the extent of the patient's injuries just yet. So I'm going to have my patient or my partner uh, go ahead and come over and hold manual inline mobilization. Now, after he's done that, I'm going to go ahead and uh, get my general impression. I have a 20-something-year-old female lying eyes closed, not moving at all. Uh, I'm then going to check the APU. For the APU, the patient's not tracking me as I walk in. Uh, she is not uh, responding to my voice. Yeah, can you hear me? And uh, we'll see if she ch responds to painful stimuli, which she doesn't. So this patient's going to be unresponsive. I'm next going to go ahead and check my uh, ABCs, starting with my airway. So for my airway, I'm going to go ahead and use a jaw thrust maneuver uh, just to see if the airway is open and clear and maintainable. So the airway is open, uh, it is clear, and it is maintainable. I'm then going to go ahead and check uh, the patient's breathing, checking the rate, the depth, and the quality, which at this point it looks like it's about 18 uh, and adequate tidal volume. Now, <clears throat> the next thing I'm going to check is my circulation. So for my circulation, I can go ahead and check both at the radial and at the carotid, checking for any kind of shunting if there's a discrepancy in the pulses. Uh, I also want to see how strong and how fast the pulse is. I want to check my patient's skin signs, checking the, the color, moisture, and temperature. I want to check uh, the patient's cap refill time. And I want to go ahead and check to see if there's any major bleeding that I have not noticed yet this far. The next thing I want to do is I want to get my disability. Uh, so for the disability, uh, since the patient's not verbal, I'm not going to be able to get my PPPT. I'm going to have to go ahead and assign the patient a GCS score. So since her eyes are not moving, uh, she's not verbal, and she's not following any kind of uh, uh, commands or anything like that, I'm going to go ahead and assign this patient a GCS of 3. Uh, so my transport decision, uh, although there's no apparent injuries at this point, uh, since her uh, mental status is uh, delayed, she's not verbal, I'm going to go ahead and make this a rapid transport. Uh, so uh, our next step is going to be going into uh, the head to toe assessment after I follow through and find to see uh, if there's any way I can get a sample history.